He's on. Oh yeah. He's on. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Come on. What's going on, everybody? Derek here from Hooked on Fishing for Real. It's been a while since I uh, posted a video. So today, guess what, guys? I'm offshore. I'm about 16 miles offshore, and I'm going to do some fishing. On today's menu, guys, I'm looking to catch a uh, decent sized trigger fish since uh, that just opened. So uh, they have to be at least uh, 14 inches to keep. As always, if I catch some hogfish that's 14 inches, I'm keeping those too. Also looking to catch uh, some, some scamp too, guys. So uh, a variety of fish species I'm looking to catch and uh, put in my uh, cooler to take home and have for dinner. I uh, bought three poles with me. Um, two of them are medium uh, light poles uh, with, uh, equipped with um, 15, 20 pound uh, braided line tied to a 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader and one that's got a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Then I got my heavy, my medium heavy rod that's got, uh, that's got 40 pound braid on there and a 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Then at the end of that, I do have some uh, wire leader on there so I won't get broke off. Cause last time I was out here, I kept getting broke off and I got tiring after a while. So I said, you know what? This time that's not gonna happen. So anyway, guys, like I said, uh, I'm gonna get to fishing and hopefully I can give you guys a great video to enjoy. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Hooked on Fishing for Real, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button while you're watching this video. And also hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when I post new video content. And as always, guys, if you like this video at the end, I appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you have any comments, all I ask is that you keep them nice. All right, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get to fishing. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna start off, guys, fishing with this hogfish setup that I have here on this setup, on this rod here. I got. Uh, like I said, this is a medium rod. I got equipped with a uh, 3000 uh, Revrose uh, Daiwa LT spinning reel. Um, it's about, like I said, it's about 15 pound test line on this. It's got a 20 pound leader on here, uh, one knot uh, circle hook, and I got about a one ounce weight egg weight on there with three beads. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna throw this down there and uh. We're gonna see if we can get hooked on for see if I can get hooked on for you guys. Here we go. Right underneath the boat. Let's see here. Tell them and they will come. Eventually they will be here. Now I've drifted away a little bit, but hopefully I will get back on my spot. Let's see here. I feel something biting on it already. Oh, there we go, guys. You guys see that? He took it quick. I'm on, guys. I am on. Let's see what I got. A little red grouper there. A little red grouper. All right. Get this off here. There we go. Okay, guys, they are down there, definitely. All right. As long as I don't keep moving, I am moving off my spot, but if I get to moving off too far, I'll have to reposition. I'm on, guys, I'm on. Let's see what we got. Stay away from the motor. He's over there on the motor. Another scamp. Look at this, guys. Look at these scamps. They're not big enough, but this is a scamp. Look at that, that's a scamp. Nice size, if he was, uh, I believe he has to be 16 inches to keep. Nice scamp though. Yeah, buddy. Give me some big ones down there. Get this hook out of your mouth. There we go, nice scamp, look at that. All right, see ya. All right, here they come, guys. There we go. That's a grunt, another grunt. They fight hard. <sighs> Feels like a grunt. Might not be a grunt, though. Could be a group, though. Let's see, because I was on the bottom. Let's see. I see him, here he comes. Ooh, that's a nice grunt. That's a big one. Look at this grunt, guys. Now, that's a big grunt. I'll keep him. He's definitely worth keeping. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep you guy. That's a nice grunt. 
Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I can get some meat off of him. The thing about grunts though is they, uh, I don't know, but that's a nice grunt, guys. Look at that. Big grunt right there. Big one. Look at that. That's the biggest grunt I ever caught. See ya. I don't think I'll keep him. Okay, guys. I had to reposition the boat. Now that I repositioned the boat, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get hooked onto some trigger fish for you guys. Or maybe a hogfish. But I'm out of shrimp. Out of live shrimp, but I still got a lot of cut up shrimp. I still got some sardines. I got a lot of bait left, uh, but I just don't have any live shrimp. But we'll see, guys. I've been catching a lot of red grouper, uh, juveniles. I did catch a, a couple scamps, but maybe I'll catch a keeper scamp. We'll see. All right, let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's start off with some shrimp here. And guys, let me show you. Look, I got this shrimp right here. Show you real quick. Guys, this is a shrimp I got from uh, Publix. This is the Florida wild uh, caught shrimp. And uh, actually this shrimp was caught in, the, caught in the Florida Keys. And I'll show you what it looked like. It's raw, there's no additives to it or anything. It was fresh off the ice from Publix. So I want to use this and see what'll bite on this. I've had a lot of luck, but see, this is what it looked like. It's pinkish, and I'm just gonna cut it in little small chunks and put it on the hook. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. So uh, let's get to it. Let me send it down on this right here first. All right. Just put it in little small chunks here, and I'm just cutting it in small chunks like this. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I felt him take it. Oh, that's a that's a trigger fish. That is a trigger fish. Oh yeah, he's a big one too. That might be a big grouper. Woo wee! I'm not letting him leave. He's trying to dive back down. I bet you that's a grouper the way he's fighting. Oh, there he is. Oh no, that's a trigger. Now that's a nice trigger. Let's see if he's a keeper. Let's see here, guys. Let's see. I think they have to be 14 inches. Let's see here. He's a nice guy. He's 12. Let's see here. I think they have to be. Trigger. Yep, they have to be uh, 14. Dag on it. He's 12. Dag on it, man. There he is, guys. Look. Let me show you guys. Go. Look at that. I need a, a size 14. <laughs> All right. See you back down. Go tell your uh, tallest uncle and your tallest brother that I want to have a, a talk with them. <laughs> now you tell them that I just want to have a little conversation with them and I will uh, they might take a vacation. There we go. He's on. He's on, guys. That's probably another trigger. The way he, yeah, that's probably another trigger. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, that's another trigger. I could tell the way he, the way he's fighting. Oh yeah, that's another trigger. Oh yeah. Good thing that Barracuda's not around. He's gonna slam that sucker. All right. They got such sharp teeth. He just severed my line. And he's probably got the hook in his mouth. I'm not gonna even try to get it out because he probably swallowed the hook. Let's see here. Here he is though, guys. 
There we go, guys. We're on. Let's see. I don't know. That is a uh, that's a porgy. Look at that, guys. Everything's hitting on this public uh, shrimp. Now look at this. Here's a porgy for you. Look at that. Nice porgy, huh? He's not big enough though. I'm gonna throw him back. Porgies have to be at least uh, they have to be at least 10 inches. I don't think he's 10 inches. Let me see here. I don't think he's 10 inches. Oh, he's 10 inches. Should I keep you? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you back, buddy. I'm gonna put you back. I, I can keep him though, but I'm gonna throw him back. He's a pretty fish. I'm gonna throw him back. Oops. On the public shrimp, the guys. There we go. He's on. There we go. He's running. Oh, that's a grouper. That's a grouper. That's a grouper. Yeah, that's a grouper. What we got? Come on. Oh no, it's a hogfish, guys. Oh, it's a hogfish. Nice size hogfish too, a keeper. Look at this. Oh yeah. How about that, guys? Nice hogfish. All right, buddy, slow down. So on the, look at this, guys. Hogfish. Hogfish on the public. Look at that nice size hogfish on the public shrimp. Go, I'm telling you, go to the seafood department and get their wild caught Florida shrimp. That's all you need. Don't have to be alive. And then just cut it in small chunks. I caught him on that beautiful fish. Look at that. I'm, I'm going to eat good tonight. <laughs> I'm going to eat good tonight. All right. There we go. He's on. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a grouper. I got him up out of there. He's trying to dive down. I got him up out of there. Hopefully it's a scamp. If it's a scamp, I'm keeping him. He feels like a nice size. Let's see here. Hopefully it's not a red grouper. Let's see here. Here he comes, guys. Ah, it's a red grouper. It's another red grouper, look. Another red grouper, guys. Well, guys, what a beautiful day out on the water. It was a great day. I had fun. That's the most important thing, right? Just having fun. Uh, you can see I caught a variety of uh, different types of fish species. I caught porgy, red grouper, scamp, uh, beautiful looking hogfish, uh, triggerfish, uh, so, grunt, uh, a variety, guys. And uh, uh, so hopefully next time, guys, I'll be at a different spot and I can get those trigger fish for you guys. But all in all, guys, I had a great day out in the water as usual, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys liked it, please hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button too, guys, while you're at it, and hit that bell notification so, so that you'll be notified when I post new video content. And as always, guys, until next time, peace.